welcome back everybody. This week's brief history of the challenge is all on DM Brown, who made her MTV Challenge debut on the 12th season of the challenge called Fresh Meat, where she was picked ninth overall by Derek Kay, and the two made a great pairing as they made it deep within the season. They even won three daily challenges in a row. However, they were put into an elimination in episode 15 against Darrell and Aviv and were eliminated right before the finals. It was super impressive in a rookie season to almost make the finals. But DM was back in the season 13 of the challenge called The Duel. Now for some context, between season 12 and season 13, DM was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and undergone uh, chemotherapy. And leading into the beginning of the challenge season, she was medically cleared, her cancer went into remission, so she was able to compete in the duel. And fun fact about the duel, that's where she met CT, and they had an instant chemistry. They had an instant bond. They made it deep into the season with one another. They paired up with each other consistently for daily challenges. They even struck up a romantic relationship. They shared their first kiss in the challenge house. They made it so far into the season. However, just like Fresh Meat, she was put into an elimination way late into the game and she went up against Anissa and lost just before the finals. It was like another fourth place finish. She was so close. She took the next season off but was back in season 15 called Gauntlet 3. For those of you who don't know what Gauntlet 3 was, it was a two team based challenge season where it was veterans versus rookies. The veterans team was stacked. Let me tell you, this had Brad, Kenny, CT, DM, Evelyn, just to name a few. They were rocking this season. DM never went into an elimination, and the veterans won 10 out of 15 daily challenges, which sounds very familiar to a challenge season that's already airing and domination of one team over the other, but I'm not going to get into that. Despite them just routing the whole season against the rookies. The rookies actually won that finals and DM came in second place with the rest of the veterans team. I'm sure it felt like a huge weight was lifted that she finally made it to the finals, but just getting second place only fuels the fire that much more to get to another finals. She took another season off, which was the island season, which was terrible, <laughs> which people just hated that just for the living arrangement. So it's probably best that she wasn't on that season, but she was back for season 17 called The Duel 2. Now for some context, during the off season, DM and CT had a conversation and they both agreed that they shouldn't be in a relationship with one another. That's the PC answer. The, the real thing that happened was DM talked to CT and said that she wanted to focus on her career first and maybe in five years her and CT can strike up a romantic relationship again and see where it goes. And CT did not take that lightly whatsoever. It was a very eventful night one where CT hooked up with another challenge castmate and there was a fight that happened, there was a brawl. Both Adam and CT were disqualified from the game and DM was heartbroken. She was, she felt guilty that this was all because of her, but after night one and all that stuff was put behind her, she was able to focus on the game. She made it really far into the game. She won a couple of daily challenges and she even won an elimination in episode eight against Jen in the pushover elimination. However, two episodes later, she was put back into the elimination against Brittany in the same elimination pushover and DM did not win that one. She was eliminated again for in fourth place. It was another fourth place finish, her third in four seasons. She was back in season 18 called The Runes and she was put into the first elimination against Paula and was eliminated. She took a couple of seasons off but was back in season 22 called Battle of the Exes. Now, she was paired up with her bombastic ex CT and this was the first time that they were really close together and they had to be paired up since the incident that happened in the duel 2. People were wondering what was going to happen. Could they work together? And after a rocky beginning, they did work together. They were a really great team. They never saw an elimination. They even won the last two uh, daily challenges right before the finals. They were high stepping it. They had all the momentum with them going into the finals. And realistically, this was the best shot for both of them to make it their first challenge champion run. However, CT had a tough time getting up the, the mountain, he had a tough time with the altitude, he was laying on the snow, DM was almost about to drag him up the mountain herself, however, they did enough to lock in second place, marking DM's best finish on a challenge ever. Now, after X's finished, DM's cancer came out of remission and she had to undergo chemotherapy again. However, in 2013, early 2013, it went back into her mission and she was able to come back into the challenge for season 24 called Rivals 2 where she was paired up with Anissa. And 
like how her challenge career had went, they made it really deep into the season until they were put into an elimination right before the finals and they got another fourth place finish as they were eliminated from Rivals 2 really close to the finals. It was so close. DM took a couple of seasons off and she was back for season 26 called X's 2, Battle of the X's 2, where she was paired up yet again with CT. CT this time was more compassionate. He was ready to run this race with DM, wanting to get her into the challenge champion circle and really do it together and maybe even work on a relationship. DM was just happy to be competing. She wanted to be back into the house, back into the atmosphere. However, she got sick early on in the season and was medically uh, DQ'd from the season in episode 3 and instead of waiting for a replacement or seeing if they had a replacement for CT, CT just left with DM hoping that she was going to be okay. Battle of the X's 2 premiered in January of 2015, however months earlier the news had been shared that in November of 2014 DM had passed away. Besides being on the challenge, DM had, was an entertainment reporter and journalist for various news outlets like AssociatedPress.com and People.com. She also started the nonprofit web-based application called MedGift, who takes those in need and puts them in contact with those who want to help. I'll put a description in the link below if you want to make a donation in DM's honor. DM was a beautiful person, a strong fighter, and a genuine gift whose legacy far outreaches the challenge.